Is that really you, Game of Thrones? I don't recognize you. You are so different. You seem so different. You really give me this warm and fuzzy and oh my god and oh and happy feeling like every week now. I really don't recognize you. What, <laughs> what happened? Um, yeah, again, um, this is going to be mainly about uh, John's storyline. Um, yeah, because of reasons. Uh, if you really, if you want to see a deep analysis uh, review video, um, change the channel. Um, yeah, so um, Stark reunion. Um, yeah, we know from the, from the trailer um, from this episode that uh, Sansa, Brienne, and Patrick would arrive at the wall. And, you know, I really had my doubts, would they really give us a Stark reunion? Because, you know, they've never done that before, but, uh, yeah, they did, it happened. And, um, yeah, that scene was so, oh my god, so heartwarming and heart-wrenching and, yeah, everything we could have wished for, really. <laughs> Which, you know, when you think about it, is a little funny and strange because, you know, um, John and Sansa haven't really, you know, they haven't had any scenes together in season one, so um, yeah, they weren't really um, portrayed as, you know, close or something, and, um, but um, it's really amazing because, you know, of course we were all cheering and, and yay, and when they were reunited because they are two star kids, you know, and yeah, John as well. John is a Stark, and um, yeah, of course we were like, oh my god, uh, melting, and yeah, that was really, oh, these moments are so rare because, uh, you know, so amazing that, you know, you get this, this, this yay moment like every week now because uh, they do the most uh, rewarding stuff, you know, in just the fact that, you know, someone who was viciously betrayed and murdered managed to get resurrected and take revenge, you know, that fact alone is pretty amazing. And, um, yeah, wow. Um, keep doing that, Game of Thrones. Really, we don't, yeah, you know, I really, I really love these, these emotional themes, uh, scenes, you know. We really don't get them enough on Game of Thrones. And, yeah, when we get them, it's really... <sighs> all the more beautiful and um, you know all that scene uh, between Sansa and John when they were like talking and uh, you know sharing their memories of the past and the childhood that was so heartwarming yeah do you remember that and that and uh, yeah of course we all remember you know Winterfell and the good old times and you know um, yeah, you can really, uh, even though they haven't really, you know, had any scenes together, those two in season one, you can easily, you know, imagine her, you know, being a bitch to him when they were little and um, him, like, you know, feeling like the outsider and all, uh, being the bastard. Um, yeah, that was really, really nicely done. And, oh, really, we don't get these scenes enough on Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, um... So I really love that um, that Ed brought up the White Walkers, you know, Hard Home and all, um, because, you know, um, we were all uh, wondering, yeah, or I was wondering, uh, has John forgotten about the White Walkers and all? But uh, yeah, you know, don't worry, uh, you know, he, he'll be back, he'll, uh, you know, he knows that the long night is coming and, you know, first he has to deal with all the Ramsay stuff and uh, then he can, you know, be the big hero in that battle. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, he'll be back. Um, yeah, speaking of which, uh, it's really, you know, it's really, you know, we, we know that John is different now and all, but to see him really, um, you know, he's not wearing his uh, Night's Watch outfit anymore and uh, it's really kind of strange, you know, he's wearing now this, uh, normal outfit, this Starlight outfit, uh, like outfit, and um, yeah, it's really strange because we've always, you know, we remember uh, since season one he's been this Night's Watch guy, and it's gon going to be really super weird to see him outside of his Night's Watch surroundings. Um, yeah, I really love that we, you know, that we started the episode um, at the wall again because you know everyone was really wondering yeah what's going on with John now and what's he like and you know 
it's funny because uh, you know some people were really thinking that at the end of the last episode when he was um, you know when he said uh, my watch has ended and he walked through that door or that he was uh, really leaving in that moment and but you know you would assume that he would maybe uh, pack a few things beforehand and uh, yeah he hadn't left yet and uh, thank god um yeah um <laughs> Yeah, uh, Torment, uh, by the way, uh, don't, please don't make any sweet eyes at Brienne, because we know your heart belongs to John. Yeah, don't deny it. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I hope they don't develop anything there, really. <laughs> that would be super weird. I think he was more, like, fascinated by her as a, you know, her appearance and all as a woman, <laughs> maybe. And, um, yeah. You know, I really loved loved that um, that they brought up the the Shireen issue and the scene with um, with uh, Melisandre and Davos and Brienne because um, you know I I was really hoping please don't let them forget about this uh, because you know everyone is like worshiping uh, Melisandre now because she uh, managed to resurrect uh, John but. Yeah, I'm really grateful for that, but um, I haven't forgotten about uh, Shireen and a lot of people haven't forgotten about, about Shireen and um, yeah, it's uh, really difficult. Um, yeah, because, um, yeah, of course, yeah, Davos finally asked again about Estanis and uh, Shireen and, you know, he had asked at the end of uh, the season 5 finale you know, when Melisandre arrived at the wall, he was asking about uh, Shireen and all, and uh, Melisandre didn't answer then, but, you know, her look told him that Shireen was dead, but, she, yeah, of course she wouldn't tell him, yeah, I burned her. So, um, yeah, um, Brienne says that uh, Stannis uh, confessed a few things uh, before she executed him. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's uh, nice that uh, Davos finally really knows that uh, Stannis is dead. And my first thought actually was that um, Stannis also uh, confessed the whole Shireen thing to Brienne. I really, I bet that Brienne knows about that now. now. I think we can, can we can assume this. Or anyway, um, I, I think uh, Melisandre will get more and more pressure to really tell him about it. And which is going to be a little sad because, um, you know, uh, Melisandre and Davos, they were like, you know, they had gotten a little closer and, um, you know, the, their teamwork brought John back and, um, yeah, sh he was nice to her and she was, you know, nice to him and all and all that is going to be destroyed again once, when, not if, when <laughs> Davos uh, finds out about Shireen and, yeah. But uh, he has to find out, and he's so going to lose his, his shit when he finds out. Um, yeah. So, the wars to come between <laughs> Brienne and Melisandre. Bitch fight is coming, and I can't wait for it. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I have to admit that I have gotten quite a bad feeling about this whole prince that was promised stuff because um, you know Melisandre is so convinced now that uh, John is the prince who was promised and uh, ah, is it really that easy I mean uh, it's really so obvious and everyone is uh, thinking that he's the one and I really want him to be the one but uh, what if he's not the one that would be really awful oh my god yeah, but, you know, she said she saw him fighting at Winterfell and she saw him in the flames and all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope uh, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, John is, uh, you know, reluctant to fight. And I think, yeah, I think it's pretty understandable because, yeah, everything he's been through and all that he's, you know, tired of fighting. And, um, yeah, um... But, you know, he will be even more of a hero if he manages to get out of that hole and, you know, turn into awesome hero. <laughs> you know, I think that will be really even more of an impact because, yeah, if he's, you know, he's uh, rising from reluctant hero to superhero <laughs> of Restaurants and, yeah. And I really don't like that he said... Uh, 
I thought and I lost because that's exactly what Alyssa Thorne said because before he was executed. And um, yeah, really, don't say that, John. You don't. You may not say that. Um, yeah. Um, so Ramsay uh, sends his letter uh, to um, to Castle Black, you know, uh, saying that he is wicked and all, and he goes on and on about, uh, oh yeah, what an evil, evil person he is, and yeah, uh, bastard, uh, I will, you know, give me my bride, or you know, my soldiers will rape her, blah blah blah. Yeah, Ramsay, we know that you are a psycho asshole, and uh, yeah, really, we know by now. <laughs> You can really, yeah, shut up and, um, yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I think that note really quickly convinces John to get his shit together and march for Winterfell. I really love that, uh, that Sansa is the one who's like, yeah, John, get your shit together, get the fuck up, we have to re reclaim Winterfell because she's always been such a, you know, such a victim and, um, such a passive role and uh, always getting from one shit hole into the next and now she's finally you know she, she has uh, learned a lot from Littlefinger and um, yeah she's fine she, she's tired tired of uh, taking orders and um, I love that she's the one who's you know taking charge and wants to do something for her home and yeah she's finally developing into a really great character really I really love that that she's you know She's like the head bitch in charge <laughs> here, and uh, you know she's immediately like, "Yeah, John, how many wildlings do you have? What do you, how, do you have an army? Uh, you know, they they all you their lives, and yeah, that's that's, that's really cool. And um, yeah, she's finally getting more active, and I can't see how that how, I can't wait to see how that goes on. Um, yeah, and uh, well, uh, yeah, one thing before I forget, um, you know, uh, concerning the last episode, you know, I, I hadn't noticed that, uh, but I saw quite a, lot, a few people mentioning that, that, uh, you know, the scene where John cuts the rope to execute the traitors, you know, during that scene they played um, a version of the, the Targaryen theme, so that's really <laughs> kind of cool, you know, subtle, subtle hinting, great job, Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, you know, when you think about it, um, John's uh, team is really getting more and more uh, awesome slash cool slash strange with, uh, you know, uh, the Wildlings and Torment and uh, Brienne and uh, Podrick and Davos and Malisandre and uh, it's really, yeah, awesome, awesome team, really. I would love to be a part of that team. I would join it, totally. So yeah, uh, Littlefinger is back as well, finally. Um, oh my god, I missed him so much. Uh, I really, oh, he's so awesome. And, uh, you know, he's immediately, you know, manipulating Robin. And uh, he wants to support Sansa as well in her fight uh, against uh, the Boltons. And that is really, oh my god. They, so they have him on his team as well, which is super, super awesome. And um, yeah, I can't wait. Oh my god, that's going to be so... Super awesome, and um, yeah, um, what else? Yeah, Daenerys, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like her, I like her when she blows stuff up and all, it doesn't happen often enough, but yeah, just really, just really, please get to Westeros already, please, oh my god, yeah, um, thank you, you would do me a very big favor, <laughs> really. Um, yeah, so thank you again for watching this, uh, you know, my reviews are a little bit, uh, yeah, messed up sometimes, but uh, yeah, again, if you want to see deep analysis videos, <laughs> go look somewhere else, you won't find them here. Um, yeah, thank you again for watching, and uh, of course, I can't wait for the next episode, and uh, yeah, enjoy Game of Thrones, and thanks again for watching. <laughs> yeah, bye!